Welcome once again to this YouTube channel. Today we are gonna demonstrate how to write a complex query using the query function in Google Sheets. So when you look at this query here, it is quite complex and sometimes it's difficult even to understand what's going on. So I'm gonna take you step by step on how to develop this complex query. And what that this query does, it is picking this data from this data set here and changing it into this format where we have the names here, the regions here, and at the end here, we have a total for each of those names. And right down below here, we have the total for each of those regions. That's what you're gonna be doing in this video, and I'm gonna take you step by step. So to start off, there are four queries that are involved in this, which I have combined into, uh, into one. So the first query runs and pivots the data without the totals in this format. So let's start with this one, and then we move on to the other queries as well. So to start off, I'm gonna put an equal sign and say query, open your brackets, choose the data set that you are gonna query. You can drop the end reference so that when you have more data which you add down here, you don't have to come back to this, this query function. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say select, and if you remember, I have individuals, which is in my column B. So I'm going to select B. Then comma, I want the sum of D, the amounts. Sum D is our amounts. Then, of course, because I selected empty rows, it is gonna return some empties. So to eliminate that, I say where B is not null, eliminate those ones. The next is I have to group by because I'm aggregating and I'm gonna group by B. I have one column of headers and press enter. So when you do this, you get this. However, if you look at our data set here, we have columns right up here. So to do that, get these ones up here, we're gonna use what we call pivot. So what are we pivoting? We're pivoting the region and the region is in column C. So I put C, press enter, and there you go. So across here, you can see we have our regions. And then, so this is my first query that gives me the data in this format. So we're gonna move on to our next query. And my next query is to get the totals here. So how do I get those totals? Now to combine, this data set with the totals column here, I'll need to use curly braces like so. And to separate my queries, I use a comma if you're adding a column. I'm adding a column here, so I use a comma. If I was adding a row, I use a semicolon, which looks like that. So I say comma, now I want the totals only here. So I'm gonna say query again, my data set is the same, A, A1 to D, put a comma, then say select. Now I want the sum, so I put sum of B like so. Of course, I'm going to say where B 
is not null, terminate the empty rows. Then I need to group by, and in this case, I'm grouping by column of the names because I want the sum of each of these names. So I'm grouping by B, loop by B, press one column. Let's see that, close our current braces and we get a reference error. So when you're doing this kind of uh, assignment and you get this error, it is better you first pull out this query function and run it separately before you combine it. So that's what I should have done. What it's put here, enter, I get a value error. So I discovered I made an error. I'm summing column B, D. I put here B. So you come here and say sum D. That's the sum I want. I close my brackets and there you go. And there it gives us the sum here. So when you look at my example here, I have total here. I can change that as well. So I come back here. So I'm gonna say my label, I add here label, then I control V sum, the label of this sum of D should be in quotes, single quotes, should be total. So you type there the word total, press enter and there you go. So you have the correct total right there. So of course you can cross check. If I pull this here, I get 28,700, which is right there. This is my second query. Now I need another query to sum up these columns right here. So now for this one, I'm gonna do it down here. Then I see how it behaves. Mm. Then later on, I will combine it. So I say query, my data is in A, A1 to D, just like before. Then I say select, I want sum of D, okay? I want the sum of the last column this one D, but I need to group it by, remember the columns here by the region. So I say sum D, and of course I'll add where D is not null, because I have empty rows, I need to eliminate that, and say group I, and I'm grouping by region, which is C. I do like so, one column of headers, and there you go. So when you do that, you can see, I get the total for each of these regions. Of course, if you want to see the regions here, I can just quickly add it here so that you see what is going on. Region is column C, then comma, there you go. So I have this and this. Now, what I want is a total here down without the region. I want the total without the, this, this word region. So all I have to do is eliminate this one. Then you get this here. Now, again, the other challenge I have, my data is in a column form, but I want it in row form across here. So what I have to do, I use another Google sheet function called transpose, open. What are you transposing? The result I got first. So when I do that, you can see my result here is in now row form. So when I 
add this, I get 27,300, which is the same as the 27,300, like so. So I don't want to put this down here. I need to combine it with my other query functions because if I put it down here, at one point, this data may expand and then goes and interferes with my query function. So what I have to do, I'm going to cut this. I delete it from down there, then go up here to my query. And now I'm going to add a row. So when I'm going to add a row, I need curry breasts there so that all this is one row and then it's a number of rows. Then I need to put a semicolon to go to the next row. Remember, you use a comma when you want to add a column and you use a semicolon when you want to add a row. So I control V, paste my result there. Then when I do this, I'm likely to get an error because the number of columns are not the same, but let's see what happens. There you go, I've got, and when you look here, it says an array literal are missing values. So why this one is so is because when I added my row of totals, it didn't, uh, it didn't include the last column. I hope you remember that. But if you don't remember, let me take you back. I cut this one out, press enter. I bring you down here again. Put equal signs, remove this semicolon. You see, so this column is covered. All these are covered. Now there is this one here, which is our total, which has no value. So because the columns, uh, the rows, the columns in the first query that I did, the first two queries that I did, the number of columns in those queries is different from this one here. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, but the other one had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So because they are different, <coughs> excuse me, that's why I get this error of value. So to solve the problem, I'll need to, let me do something like this and add another column there, which is an empty space. That one will work fine. So yeah, it is showing an empty space. However, if I put in anything here, for example, let's say total, you can see it appears there. So because the columns, number of columns was different, that's why I get that error, be aware of that. So let's pick this once again, remove that, go back to this one here, I'm going to put a semicolon right there, control V, press enter, and there you go. So we have our total here, which is some amount, which is giving me this total. And I have to come back and change this one as well. But let's first change this one to what total. So to do that, you're gonna use a label you say label, label, then uh, we are going to label it single quotes. Remember, use single quotes, label it like so. And what are we labeling? We are labeling the sum. So we need to say label sum. And thereafter we put single quotes and then we press enter 
And then when you do that, you can see now we have our total right there. Now the, the last query I'm gonna write is this one here, which gives me the total of everything. So let's write our query function here to give us the total of all our figures. So my data range is A1 to D, press a comma, select. And what I'm gonna do, I'm selecting the sum of D where D is not null. And the reason for this is because I selected empty rows. Then close that one there. I have one header and then I say, okay. So when I do this, this is the sum of everything to 81,300, you can see is right here. And it is this figure here. Now, when you look at this total, I don't want to put it, place it like this, because on top of this, it has the word sum. And I don't want the sum, I just want only the figure. So how do I remove the figure, the word sum? To remove the word sum, I use the index function, and then I say return row two. When I do that, so there are two rows. So I'm just saying index return me row two only. So when I do that, you can see I get the 281,300. So where there's the total, the word this total that I placed here as a placeholder, I need to place this function here. So all I have to do, cut this, remove that, and go back to my query function here, where there's the word total, remove it like so, and put my result, press enter, and there you go, we have our total here. So I've built this step by step to show you how you can build a complex query function which has four different queries in it and you can be able to generate this. The advantage of not hard coding the totals is, for example, if the regions change, then it will expand. So if you have hard coded a total here, it will not work. For example, again, Adding a total here needs to be dynamic so that when you add a new name, it automatically is added here and is calculated in the total as shown below. So maybe the last thing I'm gonna show you is for example, if I have a region that does not appear here and I add it, how does it appear? So I am going to add east, there's no east here. And I'm also going to add another name here which does not exist and I add it in my data and then I see what happens to my result. So I'm gonna add a name and this name is gonna be Roberto. And then I'm gonna say Roberto comes from the East and his amount is six, seven, like so. So when I do that and I go back here, you can see East is automatically added right here and again, the total is added here. That's the power of using the query function inside other query functions. So I don't need to come and uh, update my totals. My totals will automatically be calculated. For example, this Roberto, his total is there. And also down here, his total mm -hmm. is here. I hope this has been a good lesson to teach you how to build a complex query function. Thank you for watching. And if you have liked this video, please give it a like. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and see you in the next video. Don't forget to have a great day.